Hello again, welcome back. Today I am going to be sharing with you what I am putting in my Halloween bags for 2020. I've got some new things this year, so I am pretty excited to show you um, what I found. Just before I get into showing you everything, I wanted to talk about like how much I bought and how many bags I'm going to be making. And I'm really not sure because typically every year I will get anywhere between 100 to 130 trick-or-treaters. Except for last year, I only think I got about 60 people coming by. It was really, really strange. I have no idea why. So I'm not sure. And then also this year, obviously, being 2020, it is a little bit of a strange year. I am very fortunate that I live here in New Zealand. And at the moment, it's pretty safe. And as far as I'm aware, people will be trick-or-treating. And so I will be making bags to hand out. Um... Obviously, there will be families that decide not to participate this year, and that's completely understandable. So I think I'm going to just go with a nice even number and do 100 bags. Um, and hopefully that's enough. I'll have plenty of extra candy and stuff left over if um, more people arrive. But that's sort of the number that I'm going with. Okay, let me talk you through the food items that I'm going to be putting in the bags this year. I like to do a bit of a mixture of things. So of course you have to start with something gummy. This year I went with these gummy burgers um, from the Trolley brand. I really like them. I think their gummies are just so nice. They're really soft, but they're not sticky. They don't get stuck in your teeth. They're just really good quality. So I went with the gummy burgers. I got a couple of bags of those. And then I also went back to these gummy worms. I'm not sure if they're sour. I think I said this last year and I did forget to try them so I still don't know if they are sour or not but I do love the like the blue packaging I think they look kind of spooky and Halloween like so that's a pack of 48 I'm not sure how many are in these bags so I got a couple of those and that should be enough um, for my hundred bags with a couple left over the next thing I want to show you are these whisper bars and I'm very excited about these for a couple of reasons first off I've always wanted to give out like full size candy bars, um, but I just haven't. I don't think these are quite full size actually, but they are definitely bigger than the small little snack size ones that like I would normally give out. Um, the second reason I'm excited about these are because Whisper is actually not super common here in New Zealand. I believe it's a like a chocolate bar from the UK. You can buy them here in some supermarkets in like the international aisle for you know, like three three times the price of a regular chocolate bar. Um, but I did find them in the warehouse. And these big pack of like nine of them for five dollars. So I bought a whole box. I think they even had a special like buy ten and you get one free or something when you order online. So I did that. They're really nice. They're kind of like um, Aero, if you know what that is. Like it has the little like air bubbles inside of them. And they're a family favorite around here so I'm very excited to be handing these out this year as like my main chocolate item the other chocolate item that I'm going to be putting in my bags this year are these chocolate kinder minis they're just like the kinder surprise eggs but in like a little bar form with the milk chocolate and the white chocolate and it comes with like two squares I can kind of feel them inside there um, they're pretty good. I've had them before, I'm sure. It comes in a pack of 18, so I've got, you know, quite a few bags. Plenty for um, all the bags that I'm going to be making. Now the next thing I'm super excited about. Somebody get excited with me. Um, I found these little packs of nerds. Now I know these existed. I have seen them before, like online, but I have never, ever been able to find them in New Zealand. So I was so excited when I found these. They just come with the, the grape and the strawberry flavor. They're just in little boxes. I know this is not something that um, everybody's going to have, so I am so excited to be able to hand these out this year. I just love nerds. They're so fun. So I've got plenty of those. Thank you, everybody. And this is the last food item that I'm going to be putting in my bags this year. They are the Chupa Chups Minis, 
in the tongue painters and honestly it was this little image that sold me on it how fun is it to paint your tongue black on halloween i think that's so cool or like a red color i see it comes with a cola flavor and a strawberry and i do like that they're minis as well i think that's like a really good size especially because there's other candy in the bags so they come in a pack of 15 i did buy all the packs that they had in the store at the time but it's not quite enough so I did also just grab a pack of like their regular face lollipops so these are like flat lollipops um, comes in orange grape strawberry and cola now it's always a good idea to have some extra candy on hand because you never know so this year I just picked up some of these like crunchy bars which are like a hokey pokey or like a honeycomb inside chocolate and then some of these Moro bars um, you know put a couple of bags of those just to have on hand I'll put them in a bowl with you know whatever I have left over and I'll just keep that on hand um, in case I get some extra trick-or-treaters that I wasn't quite expecting now I'm going to show you some of the like non-food items like the toys that I'm going to be putting into my bags this year and I'm sad to report I really really struggled finding anything new I looked in so many stores and there really just wasn't anything out there there was sort of no Halloween toys this year the only thing I could find were these um, like glow-in-the-dark spiders which you can pretty much find every year now they're pretty common um, but yeah it was the only thing I could find after going to several shops so I bought at least a hundred of those I think um, and then I must have forgot that I bought them because I went to another store at like a two dollar store and found more spiders so now I have double I actually like these ones better I think they look a bit more realistic so I bought all the packs they had of those and then some more just glow-in-the-dark spiders so spiders for everybody it's gonna be the year of the spiders the other thing that I did find which you can Kind of get everywhere now as well are these little uh, bat rings it's kind of hard to see inside two dollars fifty I, i'm pretty sure it's going to be a pack of 50 so i got a few packs of those but that's pretty much it for all the new toys that i bought the only other sort of new item that i can show you are these uh, halloween erasers they come in a pack of 12. Um, i believe i paid two dollars possibly two dollars fifty for them I just found them at a random like dollar store or two dollar shop that's what we call them here although the price can vary between sort of one dollar all the way up to like five dollars so kind of disregard that but I found them at like a two dollar shop um, but it wasn't during Halloween time it was all the way back I believe in maybe February or March like really early in the year they only had three packs but I was like yes <laughs> I need these so I picked them up and I've just sort of, you know, kept a hold of them. Um, so I was excited to find those, but that's all they had. And I've been back since and they don't have any more. But I knew that I had these, so I have been on the lookout for Halloween pencils, which, again, just like don't exist here. So this is the closest I could get. There are these sort of bright orange pencils. They look a bit brighter in person. So at least the first, you know, 36 people will get a pencil and an eraser. Now, fortunately for me, I have been doing this for a couple of years now, so I do have some items from previous years. Let me show you what I have. Last year, I found, but did not give out, some of these little like Halloween erasers. They come in a pack of 50. These ones are just bats, and these are, what are they called? Candy corn, that's the word. Um, yeah, $2.50. I found these at Martha's Backyard, which is a... Like American store here in Auckland New Zealand um, so I've got a bunch of those which will be good to go with pencils when I run out of these erasers I also found last year these spider spinning tops which I thought were very exciting they're yeah they look like spiders and you can spin them it also comes in a pack of 72 which I thought was really cool seven dollars fifty so I do have a couple of packs of those so that may be like the main toy that I add to my bags this year Another item I have from years past are these little Halloween whistles and spinning tops and I actually made these myself so I just got regular like whistles and found the Halloween patterns and just cut and glued them on so if you are looking for something to add to your bags this kind of stuff you could make yourself just by buying some you know spinning tops and personalizing them it does you know just take a little bit of 
time and energy so you know do keep that in mind I also have these little slinkies I've got a couple of the like jack-o-lantern ones left and some of these pirate ones and a bunch of the like rainbow colored ones I have never handed them out I've had them for a couple of years but I really do try to put items in the bags that are Halloween themed instead of just like little toys that you would put in any other like birthday goodie bag so I'm not sure if I will hand them out or not but I do have them as an option. I also have a bunch of these like assorted bugs left over from last year you know just in case the spiders aren't enough. I've got extra backup bugs and lastly I've got this bowl full of just sort of random things that I've kept from previous years. I've got some of these minions and mm, Batman pencils but again like they're not Halloween themed so I've not given them out but I have them you know in case I need them. I've also got a bunch of just bouncy balls and sort of different you know, different colors and designs, eyeballs. I've got some other random pencils. I've got these little notebooks that I made one year. What else? I've got oh, a bunch of these like Halloween balloons from previous years. And I've got a lot of stickers and all these different kind of spooky designs. I always give those out most years. I've got some little pin machine, pinball game things, some teeth. Just a whole lot of kind of random things so um, I might select a few of these to put in the bags I'll just kind of see what else I have and you know what I feel like giving out okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up all the bags and put everything in bowls just to make it easier to make the treat bags and I will come back to you and show you when it's all set up
here is everything all set up and ready to go. These are the bags that I've decided to use this year. These pumpkin like jack-o'-lantern faces with the trick-or-treat. I did not pay 97 cents for them. They were a couple of dollars from like Martha's Backyard or something. A couple of years back I've had them for a little while. Uh, they, only, they do have a little skinny neck though. That's the only thing. So some of the bigger toys may not fit but that's alright. So I'm going to do 80 of those and if I don't quite have enough I've got some spare ones that I've used before. And then I'm also going to do 20 of the small bags which generally I give out to like adults and parents coming past. Um, and I just leave the toys out and hand those out as well. So those are the bags that I'm going to be using. Let me put a couple together for you and show you uh, what they look like. Okay, let me put together a treat bag for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is start off with a little half sheet of stickers. I'm going to put them facing out like that. Then let's do the candy. We're going to go in with a whisper bar. Like so. Um, we're going to do the gummy burger. Oh, it does fit. And a little pack of nerves. Kinder Mini. And a little strawberry lollipop. And we've got to go in with the bat ring. And whatever that is, little spider or something. And a pencil to go with it, of course. Now, I wasn't sure which way to do the pencil. I think I'm going to put it in pointy side down because I'd rather it break the bag instead of, like, stabbing a child in the hand. What else? Um, I'm going to go in with one of these spinning tops and a balloon. And then I'm going to do one other thing from like my bowl of goodies. And this time it's going to be a bouncy ball. And then you just take it with a little twist tie. Oh no, wait, undo, undo. I nearly forgot the spider after all that. That's funny. Okay. Don't forget your spiders. I'm going to put that in there. And then you can twist it up. And your bag looks like that. And that is what I'm going to be giving out. Let me do a couple more. Now just before I continue making the rest of my treat bags, I wanted to show you the extra candy that I got this year. I always get some fun sort of chocolate bars and different candy to go for my neighbors next door. This year I went with these limited edition items. I got the Mars chocolate bar and the 200% caramel, the caramel sundae, the Mentos and the tutti frutti flavor. I got the new milky bar in the like swirl pattern. I do have all four flavors of the, I think it's Sour Inferno, Chopper Chops, like super sour lollipops. I got these Pepito, I think they're called Pocky Sticks. Now normally I wouldn't do anything with nuts, but um, because it's just for my neighbors next door, I know that it's going to be okay. And then I also got the new M&M pretzels, which look pretty good. So I'm going to add these to a bag along with some of the regular candy I have and that will go for my neighbors next door.